Recently, the government has chosen a series of Hoysala temples in Karnataka's Belur, Halebid, and Somnathpura as its official nominees for UNESCO's World Heritage List for the years 2022 and 2023. In this light, let us know more. According to the tradition, the kingdom was named when the mythical founder fought a charging tiger that threatened to attack a meditating Jain monk. The Oysalas, who were the successors of Chalukyas, ruled over much of modern-day Karnataka from 11th till 13th century. King Vishnuvardhana was their most prominent king who managed to defeat the imperial Cholas in the year 1116 AD. To mark this victory, he constructed the famous Channa Keshava temple. However, it was during the reign of Veera Ballala II that the Hoysalas obtained their political independence in 1192. Their rule is known for the development of art, architecture and culture. The remnants of the rich architectural tradition could be seen at places like Belur, Halebidu and Somnathpura in Karnataka. What have we learned from all these monuments? Let's see. Their temples are built in a basic Dravidian style, though showing some Nagara traditions, particularly in construction of the Shikara. Their temples sit on a raised platform and they are usually in a star-shaped format. Hoysala monuments correspond to the worship of Lord Vishnu, Lord Shiva, Shaktiism and also Jainism. Themes for sculptural art have been invariably adopted from Ramayana, Mahabharata and the Bhagavad Purana. They used locally available soapstone that helped them to provide greater ornamentation and detailing. The other important sculpture found commonly in all of these monuments is that of the famed queen of King Vishnuvardhana, Queen Shantala. Her legacy has also been immortalized in a book by K.V. Iyer called Natyarani Shantala. Archaeological Survey of India is the nodal agency for the conservation and maintenance of these monuments.